life is hard to begin with. And then when you throw on a global pandemic, it gets a lot harder. Because the trend now everywhere is, you know, whether it's an urban school is looking for, can we turn our backyard that's just a bunch of overgrown brush, can we turn that into a classroom space? You couldn't go to the gym anymore. You couldn't do your sports like you used to when we first shut down. So we saw a really big increase in the demand and usage in a lot of our parks. Our uh, fishing licenses, our hunting licenses, actually everything, uh, all those purchases have increased. We actually don't know when it's going to plateau and stop. It just keeps increasing. Through the pandemic, it kind of refocused a lot of people's um, image of, you know, I have these parks in my community. I should utilize that. People are getting out using public spaces a lot more. So once that, that uptick occurred, you know, what that really means is we're having a lot of people using spaces that have either never used these spaces before or haven't used outdoor spaces in a long time. Our Mount Appetite trail system, um, we had a pretty good active uh, group of mountain bikers that were already using it over the, the last few years, but it became this <laughs> hub for everybody to get outside. Um, the health benefits overall, I mean, there's, there's a ton of parallels you know, it's not a hard stretch to sell getting outdoors. We had a ton of individuals that were just looking for their closest hiking trail, walking path. It's something that everybody, you know, everybody feels like, even if they're uncertain, they feel like, yeah, I might be able to just walk. It's a trend that, you know, I, we saw it go up, you know, in the 270% range of increase and then it, it mellowed out, but we're still looking at a solid 75%, you know, in North America of people getting out, um, you know, local businesses, bike shops still have a hard time keeping bikes on the shelf. The ATV purchases, you cannot buy an ATV. You haven't been able to buy one. We've actually seen, I can't even remember what the percentage is, but there's just as many ATVs now as there is snowmobile, which is almost unheard of. What it boils down to is people have gotten a taste of it and they've realized that, yeah, you know, I really like this. This isn't a bad thing. And, and it was kind of a hard reset, but it, it, you know, people have realized like, you know, even if I'm just getting a couple walks a week in, this is much better than, you know, I've done in the past. I'm feeling better. I'm getting some fresh air. And so again, it, it's not a hard sell when people are experiencing this and it's a really positive experience. I think people uh, recognize uh, what we have here. Um, and believe it or not, we're seeing people really leaving their uh, urban areas and uh, getting out to areas such as the riverlands here and the river. We've been preaching it for years. I've lived and breathed it. This is the only job I've had since I was 16. I worked in Parks and Rec. So like for the last 15 plus years, this is what I've been doing. And for people to really see that value, it, these are good positive things that, again, getting back to that healthy lifestyle, you know, doing something for your body and for your good mentally, socially, emotionally, physically. Um, that's been really a, a positive out of such a you know, tough situation.